welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be installing this uh, strut tower brace. Um, it's actually an old BBK uh, brace. It's originally like a gloss black. So I've uh, repainted it to uh, match a little bit better with the engine bay here. So it's just a uh, kind of a satin black finish. I've already uh, you know, put it in place, got the holes drilled here and here, a couple across the back, and then the two over there. So I'm just ready to install it. Uh, this thing originally came with uh, some hardware that I didn't like. So these were, uh, they came to go up here on the front, and then they just had these hex head bolts back here in the back. So uh, I'm going with these uh, stainless steel kind of button head uh, up here. Made that look a lot better. And then I've got some uh, some chrome socket head uh, back here on the back, a little bit, a little bit smaller. So I uh, also uh, plated this piece because it was uh, kind of rusty. Their uh, coating they put on it was failing. It hadn't even been used before. It's been in a box for I don't know how many years. So I plated that and that goes on the inside. Uh, inside of the cowl here is a brace and it bolts through here through the cowl and then through this plate and I'll have uh, some lock nuts in the back and uh, that's it so I'm going to uh, just install this not much exciting going on um, just uh, so I guess one, one word of uh, caution here when you're trying to line this up and get these bolts in your other side is going to be moving around over there and it can uh, scratch up your paint so I'm going to wrap uh, just some bubble wrap here. I'm just going to wrap a piece of bubble wrap around it. Nothing extreme, just enough to keep it from banging into the paint over there while I'm working on this side. So uh, that's it. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, that's it. Easy breezy. If I had a uh, windshield washer hose, there's a hole in the back of the bracket, it would go right through there. Um, but I don't have a washer hose. But I think this looks pretty clean. I'm glad I used the, the chrome back there. It kind of matches uh, the polished stainless uh, bracket here next to it. So uh, yeah, it looks good. And these uh, these button heads here, they uh, they look good. They're not uh, in, in your face, kind of understated, but it still looks nice and clean. Doesn't contrast terribly with my uh, polished stainless fender bolts here. So uh, that's it. That's one more thing off the list. So definitely, uh, definitely subscribe. I'm not doing videos for all these things, but I'm working on getting this list done in the next uh, 29 days. So, uh, strut tower brace right there. So I'll we'll mark that one off and we'll move on to the other stuff. So, uh, that is it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. And, uh, oh wait, one thing I meant to mention. Sorry to interrupt my closing remarks there. 
a uh, took an Allen wrench here and I had to cut it off and make it shorter uh, to fit in here um, or else I wouldn't be able to use these uh, socket head bolts so you know sometimes you have to do stuff like that to, to make things work but that's all right got a whole drawer full of these things probably like a hundred of them so uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching see you.